Greetings and salutations, and this is Evelyn O'Malley. And there's one more thing. Oh, yeah! 90s are back! Okay. And this is me, Evelyn O'Malley. With a new book review of Cyberpunk, my handbook. But, like, the real Cyberpunk Facebook. Unbelievable! Ah! But, seriously, folks. That's when I got this book, it was me and my roommate searching through a box of books. You know, yeah, you tend to play, tend to find things in your past and past books and stuff. And so I picked it up and got it. And it took me a while to finish reading it, but it's only about like a hundred. Yeah, 192 pages long, but worth reading. Basically, what it's about is, you know, how cyberpunks live in the world. But it's really funny, really interesting. You know, you get to hear like, words that you never thought you would hear in a... Well, in fact, let me find some. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my... Okay. You have a dictionary of terminally hip jargon and useful phrases like A F A I K as far as I know acronym and hackerese. And hacker is spelled H A Q R E S E. Okay, and Okay, we are anarchists. Someone who feels like governments are an unreasonable restraint on humans, on free humans as beings. Be human beings? <laughs> like I said, they, it's funny for that reason. Like, all the bad and grammar is hilarious. Um, of course, I love all the different styles. Right, let me read off what says on the cover. Okay, you guys. Right. At first, when I looked at this cover, as you see, um, now that you look at it, at first I thought it was a man. Like, this, this is an impromptu book, so they decided, well, since we don't have a woman, let's dress a man up and in some women's clothes, or what would be thought to be women's clothes, and then you got a man, and then you know what looks like to be cyber Texas Ranger clothing. Yeah. And they also talk about certain movies that hackers would like. <laughs> oh, books. Let's see, you could probably say one is. Neuromancer by William Gibson. Okay. Then you got Snow Crash, which they give like four shurikens. You know how you have four stars, you get shurikens. Um. Okay, and movies. Oh, we got Blade Runner. Come on, until you and I'll read off some stuff that's in the review. Okay. Come on. Until you've seen Blade Runner, you're not even going to talk, we're not even going to talk to you. Blade Runner is a crash course in cyberpunk. It's even more brilliant than the novel, which is actually a short story. Well, there's a novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick, which Edge of Blade Runner is not really based on, but its title comes from a William S. 
That's Moro's story. Hey? Okay. Yeah, I love orange juice. Or as Kel says, who loves orange soda? Kel likes orange soda. Sorry, folks. I had to put that in. I mean, that's a 90. Might as well make the joke. <laughs> Anyways. That short story that Priscilla presaged the macro real politics of its times. Say that until you get it right, there's a website that deals with this flick. Go to http colon forward slash forward slash kzsu Stanford Education UWI B forward slash BR forward slash off world uh, dot H T L so and it gets four shurikens and four propellers. Okay. <laughs> and you know it talks about other things like and you got war games with broad you know I believe it was Matthew Broderick who starred in that film. It's pretty good. It gets two shurikens. And then you gotta escape from New York, Total Recall, Scanners, and lots of others we can't remember. Unrememberable, but sites. Two shuriken, and probably. And then you got all the stuff about how to survive online if you're a hacker and where to hang out to They got also stuff on religion which is the chapter nineteen The Parental Discretion Special Sex and Politics and Recipes. Yeah, Cyberpunk's Cook too. And I'm not gonna read much, but it's gonna one of my favorite things of this book is it makes a Rastafarian joke, so if you're a Rastafarian and you don't like your religion being made fun of, I, I don't know what you guys really celebrate. All I know is you guys do the hat and the braids. That's it. Okay, I should probably be a Rastafarian myself right now. No, I don't smoke weed. And I know you guys can stereotype that, that way too much. Sorry. Hey, if I moving another one on you. Anyways, they have their perspective of Rastafarians, and here's the joke. It's Rastafarian. This religion is organic and very, very green. In the in parentheses, see politics. A Rasta's life is devoted to vegetables. Eating them, smoking them, and then imitating them. Oh, and the letter I. Yeah, like I said, I enjoy jokes like that. And then, you know, just the whole nobody said that or nobody says that now either kind of thing was what made me laugh at this book. It's a good read for anyone over the age of 13. And I suggest it for us, you know. 90s kids, which they stop calling us kids. Next, you'll be calling us. I just imagine like a guy in a costume, and all of us 90s kids gang up on him and expose him for who he really is. And then he'll say, Darn you, million kids! 
swear people gotta stop doing that. Anyways, that's it for this week's book review. Now, I know this is coming really rushed after last week, but it's really good. Anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley. Uh, we'll go over and out. Bye!